Well, that happened by, so my family's like, there's like five generations of like these guys playing music. Well, now six with my son, but like, so it was like, I got out of high school and I was like, I'm crazy about the guitar, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So my uncle was doing, he was in a band in, in uh, Delaware on the beach in a band. And I was like, what are you doing? He's like, oh man, you, you got to come hang out with us for the summer. You know, you can, you can just play, you know, play with us a little bit and like learn and do, do your thing. So within a couple months, I was down there just kind of living the, the band life. And I was traveling with them, going going to their shows. They let, they let me sing a few songs, you know. Then, before you know it, I was rocking it. You know, I was just hitting it. I was just doing the solo act, and it was like what my uncle did. And he's like, "This is how you do it." And yeah, yeah. These yeah. are the bass pedals, and Gino's down in Atlanta now jamming out. That's my uncle Gino. He's the one who showed me like my bass rig. He does that as well. So he inspired me. He's like, he, you know, you, my my mom's a dance teacher. So I was like, man, you, with your dancing background, you'd crush these pedals. So mm. it was it was because of him that I do that stuff. But it's a family thing. So there's like ev- everybody, like my great uncle, no shit, okay. my grandfather, wow. my cousins, everybody. They're all over the world playing gigs, like right now. Now, <coughs> so has there ever been started. a ever been a point where with the remaining generations that like a potential family band or something like that? Or, or, or It happened. Really? Oh, okay. man, it's crazy. No way. So, Wha- oh, man, I, I wish I could give you, like, the YouTube link to it because it's so crazy. Like, in the late 60s, my grandfather and my great uncle and, like, all my uncles and my cousins and, like, my dad, they had this, like, killer band. And then and then my dad died when I was little, but he, he was the lead singer in a very immediate family band, which was called Blue Water, which was, like, my mom. My dad, my grandfather, my uncle, my aunt, you know, it was my two uncles, my aunts, uh, my grandmother. Wow. And wow. like this stuff's on Spotify, which is super cool. No oh, shit. Okay. Yeah. And I found this documentary on PBS, like on my family, like, wow. like as they rehearse. <clears throat> oh man, I wish I could like snap up footage right now for you guys because it's like, it's like, um, it's so 60s. It's so like Native American. It's so real. It's so awesome. I wish I. I have to show you guys. I'm sorry. Sure. Yeah, that sounds so. Awesome. It's so cool. That's but cool. it was great to realize, like, wow, I'm this I'm a part of this. Like, this is, like, you know, my dad died, so I was kind of like, my mom, kind of like, you know, I moved up with my grandparents up here on my mom's side. So I was like, kind of like out of like my element. Like I was just like, kind of like, my mom was a dancer, she wasn't a singer, you know, and I, like, so I come from this really strong music background, and here I am, like, kind of with my mom, you know, yeah. And there's all these, this other, you know, others, my father's side of the family all over the world playing music, and I'm like up here in like Screwing Lake, like, ice fishing, and like, oh, there's a guitar, like, what do you do with that? Like, oh, yeah, I like this, like, yeah. this feels weird, weirdly natural, you know, so like. It just kind of... It's like that uh, scene in uh, in uh, Dewey Cox Walk Hard where oh, it's like yeah. picks up the guitar and starts playing the blues. <laughs> <laughs> Rich Ortiz. Oh, man. Mm. So... Dewey Cox moment. Now before-